Well, folks, I am here at the Johnstown Agricultural Museum in Wexford and uh, just took a spin by here on um, my uh, holidays and um, look what I found. Little vintage stationary engine display. Old uh, Ruston, um, Ruston Hornsby engine and the obligatory Lister D. You'd have to have one. And that is a uh, another Ruston Hornsby uh, 1924, that one. Horizontal. This is in the Manco. Um, I believe that's actually a hired man. Um, although I don't know a lot about them. This was uh, this one was around 1920. You can see there on the uh, information plaque. Um, and then this lad here is a uh, petter. Fairly serious beast by comparison to the, the Lister D. They have uh, peacocks outside, it ends the noise. As you can see there is a um, sizable display of uh, miscellaneous agricultural equipment here. My uh, great-grandfather worked in the, uh, he was the foreman in the uh, factory where uh, this equipment was made, Pierce's of Wexford. They exported um, farm machinery and um, other uh, associated uh, paraphernalia all over the world. They were a huge manufacturing plant and um, anybody into vintage agricultural machinery should know them. But uh, my granddad was um, John, uh, my great granddad was uh, John Furlong. So uh, Star would be another um, uh, uh, another Wexford manufacturer and uh, Star and Pierce's joined forces later on uh, in I believe the 70s. Be a nice little piece of gear to run off something like a Lister. Maybe a slightly bigger engine than my one because I don't think one and a half horsepower would be enough to run it. But a Hydrovane air compressor for a Ferguson 20. I'm not going to go into details on um, vintage tractors because I know nothing about them, to tell you the truth, but I do think they're interesting nonetheless. I'm fully expecting walking around here to find something akin to my um, two, uh, two horsepower Briggs engine that I picked up. A roto scythe. That sounds cool anyway. A brush cutter there. I often wonder in situations like this how much of this machinery actually works. So. I did actually turn over that uh, Lister D engine that was there and uh, it felt like it had not, uh, little or no compression on it but that's not to say that if you didn't put, put a bit of petrol into it it might actually fire up and get some comp compression back after it runs for a little while. Great trying to keep the camera steady when I have a dog pulling me. He seems to be enjoying himself.
Pierce bicycle. You'd kill yourself if you fell off it. This is worth a mention. Michael Collins. A horse clipping machine. I've seen some people around over the last while who could do that with the hairstyles during the COVID-19 lockdown, to be honest with you. There you go. I was probably one of them at one stage, but I managed to get myself a haircut. Anyway, thanks for watching folks and I'll see you again soon.